Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your YouTube Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Uh, Tim Quick, WA2R, sent this to me, and it is really clever. And what's it makes what makes it so clever? It's really simple. It's a couple of switches and a quarter-inch stereo phone plug. So you plug this into, and there's a little protective cover here, into the CW jack and have it set up for break-in CW. And when you do that and you hit the, the button for the dits, it puts the transceiver into transmit and it's producing a string of dits for as long as you hold the switch down. What does that do? Well, that allows you to tune your linear amplifier while going full bore. Um, and you can work your way up, of course. Uh, in my case, the amp takes about 60 to 70 watts of drive. And I can go 20 watts, then 40 watts, and then 60 watts each time using this thing. It's not stressing the amplifier nearly as much. Right now I've got set for about 50% duty cycle. I think with a little adjusting I can get it down to about 25. I've got the uh, speed at max. Uh, I can change the, uh, uh, the weight and a few other things I think to get the duty cycle down. So the advantage is press a button, tune the amp. It's not stressing the amp nearly as much. The watt meters will indicate again maybe 50% depending on the watt meter. And so to show that, I'm going to uh, demonstrate this device in just a minute. If you want to build your own, it's and you don't have a 3D printer, and I don't, I stuck a switch into the back of a quarter inch stereo plug. It's connected to the dits. I'm going to press a button. It goes into transmit. I'm going to do this one also because this cover is, all, uh, is a larger diameter and I can easily get a switch into the uh, into the back of it. So let's look at the video I shot where I test this thing out and uh, see what you think. Uh, if you want the um, instructions for the 3D printer, let me know and I'll get it from Tim. So let's take a look at the, uh, the video I shot a couple of days ago. Okay, I'm gonna plug into the CW jack on the front of a Yesu transceiver. The two buttons again, one is for DITS the other is for DAWs. The DAWs are about three times longer than the DITs. And uh, I'm going to use the DIT side of it to uh, pulse the, the watt meter. So from here it's going to go into a small amplifier, KPA 500, uh, set for about 200 watts output. And we're going to see what it shows on a Drake watt meter that's built into the Drake MN2000. The Drake watt meters are heavily damped, that is to say they're slow. I'm going to tune out the uh, little bit of SWR that there is. And that's pretty close. So I've got about a 1 to 1 SWR. Put the switch into the 200 watt position. And I'm going to key the transmitter f <laughs> first for uh, 200 watts, I'll have to dial down the drive just a bit, otherwise I'm going to bend that needle, I don't want to do that. So, um, there's 190 and 205 or so watts. So put it into the dip position and it's showing about 52 watts maybe. And so that would be out of about a ratio of four to one. And I'll confirm that with an LP100 uh, watt meter that's peak reading. It's very accurate. So let's do that now. And that's uh, close enough, 204 watts. So the ratio is almost exactly uh, four to one with a heavily damped Drake watt meter. And now I'm going to do um, the same thing with a bird watt meter, which is not as heavily damped. It moves uh, much faster than the uh, than the Drake. Okay, so this is a bird. It's got a 250 watt slug in it. I've already set it for 200 watts, and it is showing 67, 68 watts. Yeah somewhere in the neighborhood. So its ratio is about 3 to 1 
and just to confirm that that's a peak reading watt meter on the amplifier and it's showing 200 watts or so maybe uh, yeah about 200 watts so the ratio with that particular meter is about three to one so there you have it um, you can do peak reading or a regular watt meter and get a good idea of the 